September 2016 was a memorable month in the lives of many Lagos residents. Many community workers had refused to go to work while others stayed outside their premises to witness the historic commissioning of the massive 114 roads constructed across the 57 local councils in the state. This act to many people was described as promise made, promise fulfilled. Governor Akimumi Ambode had in 2015 promised to construct roads in all the local government and local council development areas in the state. Governor Ambode has uh, taken community development committee and association in Lagos State to higher pedestal. Before now, either in Lagos State or any part of the country, I can tell you no uh, community development association has enjoyed positive romance with, with the government in power like this, like that of a governor and body. I'm not doing this to echo praises on him, I, but I have to tell you that he has done well. Okin Road is one of the historic 114 roads constructed by the Ambody administration. Bounded by Alaba International Market and Ilofe Community in Ojo local government area, the importance of Okin Road as a major link to the Badagri border is huge to residents and workers. Proud to the construction of the road, users' experience was unpalatable. The swamp is what we find very, 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 very difficult to see. We had to, at a stage, we spent about five million on this road. That swamp area was just consuming it. We had to seek for ad call from Gules Vega. We could not find them. As soon as we put them on the road, the thing disappears. And you know, as we are developing it, and people are building houses here, we started having these uh, trailers coming in with containers. Anytime there is rain here, oh my God, our children used to swim for about 200 meters from here to Sele. Even our wives too. The area is always flooded. But thanks God, when this gentleman, our Abiebu governor, Governor Akim Miyambo, they came in, we were surprised that for him to come and construct part of it, to be specific 460 meters, and it is lighted with a generator house, with generator in it, being lighted on daily basis. So, how did the transition from a swampy area which had initially gulped up to 5 million naira before the state came to the rescue began? What was the feelings of residents of Mosafejo community the day Okin Road was commissioned? Uh, yes. That single action actually changed the mind of so many people. If I, when you get to this place in the night, to where the, road, the light started, to where it ends, in fact, you will not know that you are in Nigeria. Yes, that is it. I have taken so many pictures, sent it to some of my friends around. They now ask me, am I in Nigeria? I say, yes, I'm in Nigeria. Yes, thank, thank God, Governor Akibode did this one for us. And I'm very proud of it. But then, there are worries. Members of the community development associations are concerned with heavy vehicular movement on the road. They believe that truck loading activities will not only damage the road, but will also reduce the lifespan. Alaba International Road is a four-lane road. When it comes to serious congestion, it could contain six. But now it is being reduced to less two lanes. On the left, you have people parking vehicles, trucks and everything there. On the right, you have people selling okrika that they are so encroached to the road that you have less of the road, you know, usable for traffic. So these are our problems. The solution is this. We need the environmental ministry to come in forcefully and inject the nuisance on the road. We have been trying as much as possible to educate our people that the walkway is for passage. 
and also the vehicle that are passing they should limit their speed also because the children that's why you see at the middle of the road we have the pumps to actually check the movement and the speed of the vehicle so well governor have given us this and i'm very sure we have been educating ourselves that we we'll have to continue maintaining it according to the leaders of the community if residents and business owners in Mosafejo community who are majorly from the eastern part of Nigeria are to choose a leader at the state level come next election, Governor Akiumi Ambode will be second to none for his community and infrastructural development. Sincerely speaking, we know that the remaining time the governor is going to spend in the office is going to be full of activities because all of us, we can see it around Lagos. Even if you close your eyes, you can feel it. Yes, in the schools, they can feel it. So we know that the remaining days and the coming back of our governor, in which we know it is very certain, God's willing, and we know by God's grace, uh, I know it's going to happen. Their hope and prayer is to witness more of this kind gesture from the Lagos number one citizen as the state embark on the next phase of the inner road construction.